Hello everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and you're probably wondering by the looks of this table, what in the hell is she doing? What in the world does she have going on? So let me tell you, here's what's going to happen. So this is August 2nd, and I had decided last month that for the month of August, I am not going to start any new canvases. That's right, clutch your pearls catch your breath. I know that's hard to believe and probably some of you are saying yeah right and but I have made a commitment and I'm putting it out there publicly now so you all can hold me to this. I am not going to do any new starts for this for the month of August because I counted up I gathered up all of my whips so what you see before you are all of my whips and what I want to do is I'm going to go through with you all of my works in progress. That's what WIP stands for in case you're not familiar. Um, and I am going to show you all of my works in progress, where I am with them. And what I've decided I'm going to do for the remainder of the month is every day for one day, one entire day, I'm going to pick one of these canvases and that's what I'm going to work on for the day. Now, am I going to get any of these finished by doing it that way? Probably not, but I'm going to revisit some old friends that I haven't seen for, uh, in some cases since last Christmas. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I thought I would, what better way than to, I've got them all gathered here. This is everything I currently have kitted up. That's unfinished. That started and not finished. And so let, without further ado, let's just get into it. And unfortunately, I kind of know what, I kind of know how old things are, but when I've got them all piled on my table like this, it was a little bit impossible for me to put them, put them in order. So I'm going to try to go from oldest to newest, but there might be a little bit of hiccups um, in there. I'll do the best I can. So we're going to start with this one. This is the oldest whip that I have, and it is just a little 30 by 40 skull um, from Tiny Fun. It was something I picked up on Amazon. This is actually something that Nate started last Christmas. It was started on Christmas Day, actually. I'll take the cover off so you can see. And as you can see, this is so close to finished. It is just has a very few drills there left at the top that need to be finished. And then this one will be done. So this is my canvas for today because we are in the afternoon hours of August 2nd now. So this is going to be my canvas for today. And this one, I have confidence that I'm going to get this finished today. Not that much left to do. Whoops. And I took the paper completely off. Now, this was before I started sectioning off my diamond paintings, and with a 30 by 40, usually I don't section them off anyway, um, but this was before I started doing that, so I noticed that I have some drills way down here that I missed, so, you know, we'll go back and do that, but that's a skull, and um, that's what I'm going to work on today, so that's my first one. Now, my second oldest whip is one that I've had hanging around for almost as long. And it is this, it's covered with, it's a, this is a double-sided tape canvas. So I have it covered with um, parchment paper. Um, I don't use parchment paper anymore. I know a lot of people do and don't have a problem with it. Personally, I think it takes away a little bit of the stickiness. I think that it leaves a slight bit of residue and I think it takes away a little bit of the stickiness. Now, it probably doesn't help that I've had it sitting around for months and months and months. So many months. This was probably started right around Christmas as well. But this is just the Led Zeppelin Celebration Day album cover with the Zeppelin and the sunrise and the cityscape. Here, I'll peel this back. See, you can actually see it. It leaves a little bit of a residue on there. And, I mean, it's still plenty sticky. It is double-sided tape. Um, so, it is still plenty sticky. But it does it does leave a residue. So, this will be the one that I work on tomorrow. And I, I'm probably sure I can get a fair amount of it done. It is color blocking. It is a square. This is a hua can. Um... It is a 30 by 40 or a 40 by 30, 35 colors. 
and I have not had any problem with popping drills with this um, being a square. I know for a while Hua Can did have a problem with their square drills, but I haven't had any problems at all with this one. And I don't mind working on double-sided adhesive canvases at all. Um, just got to be a little bit more careful when you're laying your drills down. Um, other than that, not had a problem. So that is, whoops, I'm putting this cover binder on the wrong side there. So that's the one, that's my second oldest whip, and that's what I'll be working on tomorrow. So moving along, I'm going to look at my list here, because on my list, I do have them listed in order of oldest. And I think my next oldest one is another one that I started right around Christmas time. I'm going to move that out of the way because that's not until later. Oh, you know what? What the heck? We'll just, um, whoops, I didn't mean to bump you like that. Sorry for giving you, giving you a little bit of motion sickness. We'll just, we'll just keep going. I started this one. This is a crystal canvas art design. Um, this is, so it's a full crystal diamond painting. And it is this lovely, he's not lovely, I'm, I'm kidding. He's hideous, but he's hideous in a glorious, evil way. Uh, dragon and he is a 40 by 70 centimeter and it is all crystal and it's gonna look amazing when it's done I don't have very much completed at all on this one um, just I only have this bottom corner and the problem that I ran into with this one is that I was getting a bit this was again before I started using release papers which I love, love using release papers because what I do is when I'm working, after I have drills laid down in an area, when you set your arm down when you're working, um, you know, the drills were coming up on my arm and that was driving me nuts. But now that I use release papers, I just put a release paper underneath my arm and then I don't have that problem. So I think this will be a lot easier to work on now that I have the release papers and I'm more familiar and comfortable with working with them. So this is one I started in February. Um, so this will be probably the next one, you know, two days from now um, on my list. And so that is that one. And next is another, my next, probably oldest, it might not be the absolute oldest, but it's it's up there. It's getting, getting to where it was pretty old. I want to say maybe April I started this. This is another crystal canvas, um, and it is this very pop, it was very popular, and it's very large, mandala. And it's all crystal, and I do have, you know, a fair start, I would say. Now this thing, it doesn't look like it from where you're seeing it at the moment, from the angle that you're looking at it at the moment. It's a 50 by 70, it has 30 colors, but this thing is so confetti heavy that it's ridiculous. It is just, it's a confetti nightmare. It's, it is so confetti heavy. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to working on this one, too. I'll do a day's worth of work on that and see where we come and how far I can get on that one. I found, though, that I don't love, you know, I, I, I went ahead and I loved the idea of crystal all crystal canvases, and I bought a few of them. And I find that they're not my favorite. I, I just, I don't, I don't absolutely love them. Um, I don't hate them, but they're just not my, not my absolute favorite. So uh, next on my, this one is probably the next oldest. And I'm thinking it definitely is the next oldest because this I started for the event um, for the love of fandom, which I believe that event began in March. So this was my canvas for For the Love of Fandom 2021, and it's a diamond painting from Craftably, and it is Alice in Snow White, and it is a 24 by 32 inch, and it is so, so close to being done. And I know that in my one day that I have, because I know these sections take me about two hours per section, 
So in my one day of working on this, I'll definitely be able to finish this one up. So I'll be definitely looking forward to that because it's beautiful. It's uh, by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And this one has 51 colors. They have re-released this um, in their new releases. However, their new version of it has way more colors. And it also has rhinestones. And I believe that they've re- um, charted the faces. I know with Jasmine Beckett Griffith's faces on these, um, what, is it, what do they call them, strangelings, the, her, her impression of these um, characters, these girls, that sometimes the shading can be a little bit weird in the face by the eyes. And I know that they um, recharted that and I think the charting on that is a little bit different on the newer version. So that is the next oldest one that I have. Um, the next oldest, well, I'm not sure if it's, because then I start getting a little bit out of order. Yeah, I think this one is going to be the next oldest. Nope, it's going to be, where is it? The next oldest one that I have as a work in progress is another one by Craftably, and this one is just absolutely gorgeous, and I'm itching to get back to it. This is the Treehouse, and I believe this one is back available again, too. This is a round diamond painting. It has 53 colors, and it is pretty big. This one is a 60 by 80 centimeter. It doesn't give the which is weird because uh, most of the time, craftably, they give the inches for their dimensions. This is a version, I think it's either a version 2 kit or a version 3 kit. Um, but this is an absolutely gorgeous image by Sarah Burrier. And she's a magnificent artist. And I just absolutely love this. So I've gotten up to here with it. So I've only gotten, you know, just this bottom row and then one section over here completed. Um, but it's going to be beautiful when it's finished. So I'm looking forward to working on this, especially since what I've done so far has been all browns. So I did, you know, basically the hand of the tree to this point. So I'm looking forward to getting up here into some of the more uh, colorful areas. And I think that that's going to be really fun. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, my next oldest... And it also could possibly be a finish on the day that I work on it is, I'm trying to do this so I don't drag diamonds off of it because I'm pulling it from underneath this big pile. The next oldest that I have is Wildflowers Butterflies. And this one is from Diamond Art Club. And it is also a round diamond painting. And it has 54 colors. And it is an 84 centimeter by 56 centimeter. I started this one for the, um, oh, it was a butterfly diamond painting event um, hosted by Bella Art de Nicole and someone else. I don't remember. Um, and I, I apologize that, that that name escapes me of, of who the other um, things there were there were several sponsors to the event uh, but that event took place in April and May I believe and this is absolutely gorgeous this is also either available as of the filming of this this is either available for pre-order again or it's available right now and if you think that this is in any way looks good on camera you should order it because it is absolutely stunning in person the pictures on the website do not do it justice the way these butterflies have come to life and the shading in the flowers it's just it's magnificent it's just absolutely beautiful this was going to be a gift for and it still will be but i had anticipated finishing this you know definitely for summer that didn't happen um, but it is something that I will look forward to finishing. Now, when it looks like I have partial set, these two sections are partially complete. So I looks like I have, and these are only half sections here. So let's say three, six, 
nine hours. This is one that I can complete in my day on my when it comes to be my day to work on this one. So that's another one that I look forward to completing on its designated day. Uh, the next one that I have is um, another Craftably. Now this is from their older, actually this one comes first. This is going to unfortunately be something that you can't see much of because I have it covered in release papers. Oops, and I just lost the magnet to a cover minder from someplace else. So let me set that off to the side so I don't totally lose it. This one is, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see it um, because I have it completely covered in release papers. That was before. This was before I started being smart and only going two rows up and leaving the clear plastic on for the rest of the way. I was completely covering them in release papers and I realized that's a waste of my release papers because these are reusable. So I use them, you know, from kit to kit. And if you just do two rows at a time, you can just keep bumping them up as you finish them and then you're not tying up your release papers, you know, to cover the whole canvas. But this is called um, Heart of the Tree and this is a Josephine wall. And this is a 50 by 66 centimeter, so that's an odd size, 50 by 66 centimeter round diamond painting from Mystical Diamond Art. And it has 35 colors, and it is um, actually for being a Josephine wall, <coughs> probably the fact that it only has 35 colors, but it actually is working up really quickly. So I've gotten quite a bit of it done. I'd say I'm... I'd say I'm about exactly halfway completed with this. Um, and I definitely can't finish it in a day, but uh, it'll be nice to go back to this. This one I've been working on since, probably since, I was I would say since March. So I've been working on this one a little bit longer than I was had been working on the dry wildflower butterflies. So technically this one should have come first, but it didn't. Okay, so next we have uh, another one from Craftably. Now this is from their old stock. So this is a version one kit. And this kit um, does not have the soft back on the canvas. It still has scalloped and serge edges. Um, I don't even know if they have any version one kits that are still available for sale. Um, if they do, I think that they're at a greatly uh, sale price right now. Um, but this is called Sunset Crossing by Will Cormier. It has 39 colors and it is um, 60 by 100 centimeters. So it is quite large, but it is absolutely beautiful. You've got this lighthouse over here and a bridge across these two um, cliffs with the sun setting into the sea. And in the sea, the reason I got this is in the bottom, uh, or it kind of, it, it's almost as if you were looking through the ocean um, because this is all underwater. What you're seeing here is all underwater. And as you're looking into the underwater area, there is this um, sunken ship. So you can see that, you can kind of see that. Um, it's a little bit, shows up a little bit dark. Uh, but there's a sunken ship in there. So this is going to be, again, for Nate. Um, and he really liked this one, and I did as well. And so I um, wanted to work on this for him. And that's as far as I got on it um, before something else came along. You know, these darn events come up, and I get caught up in working on events, and then... Um, you know, I just don't get back to things. I'm going to go ahead and roll this one down to where I've got it completed. And that'll help me to be able to set it to the side a little bit. Because I'm getting quite a pile down here next to me. And it's not going to be fun cleaning it up once I'm finished. But that's not your problem, is it? Okay, my next oldest canvas. Oh, you guys. Oh, I screwed up. This one is two, three. I've got three down here that I missed. And these are old guys. These ones are really old. 
So these three canvases, we're going to start, we'll start with this one. This is a 50 by 50 centimeter square drill canvas from Royal Diamond Painting, and it is a uh, dragon eye. And I absolutely love this. I have no idea why I abandoned this. I didn't abandon it. I mean, it's still kitted up, ready to go. Um, but it's turning out gorgeous, isn't it? And I have so much done. I have, you know, a lot of this border done. I just really have to work on the center and then this edge. So all of this and this and this is, is completed. I've just got to get the middle part done. Um, actually, I know why I kind of abandoned it now that I think about it. This one has 54 colors. So that's one thing I do like about Royal Diamond Painting is they do tend to have a lot of colors in their charts, their, um, in their diamond paintings. And I liked that about it. And I really, really like the way that this is turning out. I like the way that it looks. My problem with it was this popping drills. So they're not, if they're not popping completely off the canvas, they're at least raised drills and it is it was driving me nuts this was one of the first square drills that I worked on and I hated for a while I hated square drills because of this canvas but because I love the image so much it is definitely one that I'm going to finish and then what I'm going to do from there so that I don't lose any drills is I will seal this I don't often seal my diamond paintings but this is one that I'm definitely going to seal just because they are, I, I am having a problem with popping drills. If I run my hand across there, it's not smooth. I mean, I can feel drills raised, um, you know, all just all over the place. But this is one that I would like to finish. I just think it's really cool looking. So it is, and the colors blend so nicely. It's just, it's really a shame that the drills are, that the drills are popping. But that's that one. And then, so I started this in January. So that's, that, that's January old. This one I started also in January. This um, is a Diamond Dots. Uh, this is one that I picked up at Joann's. And it's Crystal Skull and it's a 42 by 60 inch round. And it is, it only has 10 colors um, because it's just a skull. But it has some special gems that go up here, which is really cool. So you have one big special gem that goes here and a bunch that go around here. And it is absolutely full of ABs. So there are just a ton, a ton of ABs. And you would think that, and I really like Diamond Dots' as ABs. Um, I, you know I'm not a fan of ABs in general, um, but I, I do like, Diamond Dots is ABs. They seem to, they don't seem to steal your wax like um, some other ABs can do. Um, this is a partial. I should have said that. So it's 42 by 60 centimeters, but it is a partial. The only thing you're diamond painting is just the skull. Um, it is very highly confetti. Um, I should be able to get in a day's time, I should be able to get a good portion of that done. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this guy. Boy, this is making me excited. Now that I, when I first had this idea and decided I was going to do this, I thought, boy, uh, there's a reason why I haven't worked on all those diamond paintings. But no, this has me really excited to do something different every day for a month. And yes, I have enough whips that I'm going to have. I have exactly 30 works in progress right now. So I have enough that I will have something to do since today's the second. Um, there's 31 days I missed yesterday I because I didn't I'm not starting this until today so I will have enough to do to work on a different diamond painting that I already have kitted up every day for the month of August so this will be one of the days another diamond painting that I've had on the go since January January or February I'm not sure is the wonderful wonderful into Wonderland um, this one is by Jojo's Art um, from Diamond Art Club, and it is a 51 by 71. And I honestly, I don't know why I set this one aside because I love it. 
it is the drills are great the canvas is great i love the image the image is just one of my favorites um out there it's it's absolutely one of my favorite diamond paintings so i really have no idea why i put this one away um or why i why i quit working on it uh or it got just slid to the bottom and i actually have more done that i've got so i've got this entire side done here and i just picked up a drill oh well we'll fix that when we get there um and then i've got a good portion i've got a good portion of a section done up here on this side as well and it is a lot of color blocking so i should be able to I should be able to knock out a good affair. Oh, I've got a little bit done here on the corner too. I guess I was just bopping all around when I was working on this. Um, but I should be able to get a good amount of that done um, on the day that I work on that as well. So then we've got um, Worlds Away. Worlds Away is another Diamond Art Club image. And it is a round diamond painting and it is it has 39 colors and it is 73 by 55 and this is another image that i'm absolutely in love with i love the colors of it i love the image itself of the lady in the bathtub um i'm maybe i started this in march i'm not sure but i did not get very far i've only got this small corner finished right here um and that's all but it is a ton of color blocking there's so much color blocking on this so i will be able to get a good amount of i'll be able to get some done on my day that i work on it so that's the next one that i have going and let's move right along let me just clip the ends there for a while there, I was doing that. I was rolling them and clipping the ends. I don't do that anymore, but I, I was doing that for a while. All right, well, what's next? What's next? I hit all of those. Um, oh, Medusa. So I got a very small start on Medusa. And this is, again, another one that I absolutely love the image. It's a Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club, and it is 51 by 81. And to me, this is the perfect width because I can reach from my lap desk um, in my recliner. I can reach all the way to the middle on one side and then flip it around and I can reach from the middle to the middle from the other side. So this is my ideal <laughs> This is my sweet spot as far as width goes on a diamond painting. And I just got busy with this one. I um, started it, all I've got, I've got one section done. One measly little section, that's it. That's all I've done on this. And I think I was, this was one that um, my daughter Maddie had given me and I was so excited because this is one that I had wanted for a really long time and I just couldn't, it was not available. Uh, so I was really excited when she gave it to me and I just had to kit it up and start on it right away. And I didn't get very far because other things, other things happened. But this one has 46 colors and it is a round diamond painting and it has, looks like it has three ABs in it too. But again, I love the colors. So Worlds Away, the colors in Worlds Away and the colors in this are very reminiscent. They're very jewel toned, um, really nice colors. Worlds Away is going to go in my bathroom once my bathroom, my personal bathroom gets um, redone, which God knows when that'll be. That could be forever in a day, um, but someday it's going to go in there. So the next one that I have is one that I barely started at all, and I only started it. Oh, there's that cover reminder that I lost the magnet to. Good. Um, I barely started it at all, and I feel bad that I that I even have it kitted up. Um, but I had wanted to try diamond dots at home and so I had ordered this kit and it's a red poppy It's called the name of this is drama and it is a 51 by 51 centimeter and it is a partial So any place you see white is not drilled. That's um, 
it, the only part you're drilling is the actual flower itself. And I absolutely love the image. There's only 16 colors and it does have ABs. Um, I think there are, is there just the one AB? No, there's not. There's, how can I tell? I thought there was a way to tell, two ABs. So there's two ABs on here and I just got a very small start down here on the corner, but you can see that sucker shine. Look at, I mean, they have really nice, shiny, sparkly drills. Um, and I wanted to give Diamond Dots at home a try. And I wanted to actually, so I, I got it, but I thought, well, what good is it? I'm not really trying it unless I actually put some drills on. So I stuck some drills on, but I didn't get very far. So this will be one that I'll get a few, you know, if I spend a whole day, I'll be able to get at least three sections done um, of my four by six sections. So I'm looking forward to working on that as well. I'm looking forward to working on all of them, actually, as I'm sitting here, you know, looking at them. And I'm, of course, when I start this, um, when I start tonight, I'm going to start with the oldest. I'm going to start with the oldest and work my way up to my most recent starts. Uh, so, yeah. So the next one that I have going that is a work in progress is Maleficent by Treasure Studios Arts. And if you've been with me for a while, you will have seen me unbox this. And I think I maybe even showed, I have one measly, I don't even know if I have, uh, I have two measly, sec not even two measly sections done. I'm a big fat loser on this one. Um, I don't know why I, this is before they switched their drills. So this is a round drill canvas and it is the small drills, the 2.5 millimeter round drills. They don't have those anymore. Their, their round drills now are the regular standard 2.8 millimeter. Um, it has 30 colors and it is a 50 by 60. So I love the size. I think it's a great size and I, um, I love the image. And it is a good amount of color blocking. So lots of opportunity for multi-placing. And again, I think I just, I got busy. I got sidetracked with another new start and it just got set to the side. So I will be happy to work on that one again as well. All right, next I have one that I started. Now this is just a cheapo kit that I got from... I don't know, GBFKE or Fansell. I think GBFKE or someplace like this. And I had started this with the intention of doing it for an event. And I did one day's worth. I didn't even finish an entire section. Just started this coral reef down here in the corner. And that's as far as I got. But it is a, technically a whip. I still have it kitted up. So it's technically still a whip. So I'm gonna show it and I'm gonna work on it for a day. And it is a, it has 24 colors. I wanna say it's like 30 by 100 or something like that. I've got the size 40. So it's 100 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So, um, yep, that's what that is. Just an aquarium with some tropical fish. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, then we have, dun 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 dun. This one that I've also barely started. Now this is from one of my favorite companies and the only reason this one got put away is because it needed to flatten a little bit more. Um, it still had some creases in it from shipping and I wanted to flatten it a little bit more so I put it back under the mattress and I plum forgot about it. So <laughs> it has been under the mattress and it is nice and flat now. I mean the canvas is smooth as smooth as smooth can be anymore. So this is called Woodland Stream and I apologize you can't see the entire canvas. I did unbox this. This is from Create Love Share, also known as Heartful Diamonds here in the US. Um, it's a 60 by 40 centimeter canvas. It has 49 colors. Yes, 49 colors. And uh, it's a round drill. And this one section that I did up here was so confetti heavy. It was just confetti crazy. So I'm looking forward to lots more confetti as I go through this, as I'm looking at it even. Um, it is just a ton of confetti. 
uh, and I'm noticing, I didn't notice this. I think the other ones I have from them have been square drills. This is the first, yes. This is the first round drill kit that I have from them and they do have the faintest of guide circles. So um, that doesn't bother me too much. And uh, they're not really obnoxious, but they do have faint guide circles on there. But you can tell from the section that I did finish that it's not, not posing a problem at all. I mean, it's looking good. So those colors are all blending really nicely. The confetti, the fact that there are so many colors, um, I think are is gonna make this look really, really nice. Let me show you uh, the schematic. Just, it's very small. You might not be able to see it, but it's just, it's too dear in the woods. But it's gonna be really nice when it's finished. So, yep, the only reason I stuck that away was to let it flatten out and then I, then I forgot about it. So there's that. So then we have this one that I also started. Now this is one that Maddie owed me some money. So in lieu of paying me, uh, she gave me a diamond painting. <laughs> and this is a diamond painting that I had wanted and that was unavailable um, at the time. It is from uh, Micah Jelena. Um, it's called Lumina by Diamond Art Club. And it is a, this is the weirdest, this is the first time I've ever noticed this on a diamond painting. The, both the inches dimensions and the centimeter dimensions are in, are decimals. So let's say 50.3 centimeter by 70.6 centimeter. So it's not a 50 by 70, it's a 50.3 by 70.6. And it is a square diamond painting. And uh, yeah, I've done two sections. I've got two sections done out of it. But it's, you know, it's beautiful. It's coming along nicely, 37 colors. I like it because I like this border along the outside, I think is really cool. The one thing I don't like, and I'm gonna peel this back and show you guys just because, I think I've shown this or talked about it before, her hand. What in the hell is going on with her hand? It is her pinky finger on this hand. Like, it's like, eh, something, something's going on with this pinky finger that is not normal or natural. My um, Maddie, my Maddie, my Maddie has a Micah Jelena coloring book, and this um, picture is in the coloring book, and the finger is like that in the coloring book as well. So it's from the original art that the picture is like that. So I'm just not sure. I don't know. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's one of those things. But this is going to turn out great, and it's, you know, not my normal style, really, but I think she's cute, and uh, I like the premise of it, you know, the fortune teller. And the colors are really nice. So I'm looking forward to working on that one again as well. I'm looking forward to working on all of them. What am I talking about? Okay, then I have, um, let's see, what did I start first? This one. Then I have Train of Dreams by Randall Spangler. This one, excuse my arm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stick my arm in your face. This is one that I unboxed fairly recently. It is a 173 centimeter by 46 centimeter. Super long, definitely the longest diamond painting I've ever had or worked on and the definitely the longest I'll ever want to work on. But the fact that it's only 46 centimeters deep makes it really nice because like I mentioned before, I can reach the middle of this image you know, from either side when I'm working on my lap desk. This sucker has 57 colors, and I'm actually farther along in this than I remembered. So I've got quite a bit done, or quite a few more sections done than I remember doing. So that's kind of happy news. But um, I'll just, um, just in case you didn't see me unbox it, I'll unroll the rest of it and scroll it across the screen just so you can see what it all what it looks like in its entirety it's just this train with books and the sunshine is sleeping and there's a birdhouse and 
cookies in the train and the moon in the train and then you've got the dragon sleeping in the train. Hold on, I'm going off the end of my table. And then all the way down here to the end with a teacup. So that is, so yeah, I've got, <laughs> I've got a good start, but uh, nothing compared to what I've got left to go, huh? But it's been pretty fun to work on so far. It has a good amount of color blocking, just enough to keep, just enough color blocking that you don't get confetti crazy, but um, enough color changes that you're not bored with all the color blocking. It's kind of a perfect balance, really. If you're a Randall Spangler fan and you don't have this one, this is definitely one that I would get. Um, I really am enjoying working on it. So that is Train of Dreams. Then we have one that I'm trying to think of the order that I started these next ones in. Um, yeah, I think, yep. Okay, so the next one that we have is one that you guys haven't seen yet. Um, I did film an unboxing for it, but I wanted to film, I didn't show it right away. Um, I bought this at the retreat. Uh, this is from um, DP with Sparklers. This one is not available yet as of today, August 2nd, not yet available on their website for purchase. Now, I did hear that if you email them, you can purchase these new images that DP with Sparklers has available, um, but they're doing their own diamond paintings now. And I do have a good, a good start. I've got a corner down here that's pretty much done, but this is a combination of regular drills, AB drills, and uh, rhinestones. So you've got... Um, You've got the, it's, it's a round drill kit, obviously. Well, not obviously because there are square crystals now, but it is a round, it is a round drill. And I've got all this done and look at how beautifully that shimmers. So pretty, so, so pretty. Yes, so it's coming along nicely, but it's entire color blocking. And I just kind of, to be honest with you, I got a little bored with all the color blocking and I had to, move on to something else. My intention was, because it's color blocking, I thought it was gonna work up really fast. So I thought, okay, what I'll do is I will unbox it, work it up, and then show it to you um, all in one video. But that didn't happen because I, you know, I got other new things, <laughs> new sparkly shiny things arrived and I had to play with them. So <laughs> this is a 50 by 70 centimeter and it has, um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 colors. So, and most of it's black. I mean, so, but you've got all of those bright, beautiful crystals in there. And I think that she's just gorgeous. And I'm excited for the day that I get to work on her. So, let me roll her back up and put her back in the box for now. So yeah, I, I, and I was kind of waiting until this was available to purchase because I didn't want to show you guys something that wasn't even available yet. Um, but the last I've heard, they're having a problem with the website and getting them listed. But if you email DP with Sparklers, you can order that along with the other images that, they, that are part of their new releases. So the next one that I started, and you guys have seen me work on this, if you have been around for, um, around my channel and have been around for my whipping Chats, is the Fun Never, Where the Fun Never Ends by Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. 55 colors. It's a round. It has only two ABs, but there's quite a bit of them, and it sure does sparkle, doesn't it? It is a sparkly sucker. So I've gotten... A good little start on this. Not anything to write home about. Um, I've gotten sidetracked and this one is really, really big. In case you didn't see me unbox it or see anybody else uh, work on it, I'll just show you the whole thing. Just in the interest of being uh, thorough. So this is uh, from uh, the show Adventure Time. 
which is on, I think, Cartoon Network. But you've got all the characters from the show Adventure Time, and it is very, very long. It is um, 51 centimeters across by 137 centimeters long. So not quite as long as Train of Dreams, but it's getting up there. It's, 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 it's a big guy. So I don't have, when I unroll the whole thing, I sure don't have very much done. But that's where I'm at with that one. This one I'm not in any hurry to get done. So it's, it's same with Train of Dreams. I'm not in any hurry on those two. I know they're going to take me a while, so I'm not putting any pressure on myself to get those done. Um, the next one that I started would have been my canvas for um, Christmas in July. No, that's not true. The next one I started, I started at the retreat. So I started this next one in June. I was one of the lucky people um, when the Craftably 4.0 kits came out. Craftably came to the retreat in Michigan in June, and they were able to bring with them some people's orders, or at least partial some people's partial orders. And I was one of those lucky people. So uh, they brought me this canvas. is was one of my pre-orders. It has 55 colors. It's a square and it is a 20 by 28 inch, and it's called Frogs and Kisses. And I've got quite a bit done on this. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I didn't realize I had this much done on this one either. Let me peel this cover back. So um, did I say it's a square? It's a square diamond painting, and the drills are fabulous. The, the canvas is fabulous. It's got, you know, the soft back canvas. It has um, three ABs. Uh, the, it's beautifully charted. It's just, is really coming along nicely. The, I love the, the, sh the moonlight in the water. It just really comes through really well. Um, and the way the blades of the grass come up through the water and you can see the rippling of the water, you know, underneath. It's really coming together nicely. I haven't worked on this one in a couple of weeks and I really should get back to it, but I started this one in June. Um, and I have, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've got done on it so far, but I haven't worked on it in a while and I should. So my next work in progress is what I started for um, Christmas in July. And that is also Craftably Canvas. And unfortunately, I did not get very far with my Christmas in July. Here we are, August 2nd, and I just didn't have the mojo. My, I lost my, I just lost my way with, uh, with, with having any enthusiasm to work on a Christmas DP in July. I just couldn't find it. Nothing wrong with the canvas. The canvas is gorgeous. The painting is gorgeous. I can't wait to get it done for a Christmas gift. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. It's looking great. The three sections that I've got done so far are looking great. I just, I did not, I couldn't get in the Christmas spirit for July. Just couldn't, couldn't force myself to do it. So this one has 50 colors. It only has one AB and this is the one I've been complaining about and only... My only complaint is that I personally have a hard time working with square ABs because of the way they sound, the sound they make when they are placed side by side. It's a little squeaking sound and it just is like nails on a chalkboard to me, but everything down here is AB. And I think that's what deterred me from wanting to work on this more than anything was I just didn't, I just couldn't, just the sound of those ABs, those square ABs they make when you put them side by side together, just... Ugh, I couldn't do it. But this is Christmas Truck from Craftably uh, by Daniel Rogers. And I gave you the size already, 20 by 28 inches, 50 colors, square, beautiful, gorgeous. This is from their, this, now this one is available, this is a 4.0 release. This is a reprint of a, of a previous cam, you know, they had this canvas before. But in the 4.0 release, they're offering it in both rounds and squares. I got the square option, which came with all of this AB for the snow. If you got the round option, I don't think you got all of the AB for the snow, but you got rhinestones in the truck. I wish I would have gone with the round option. I didn't 
realize that there was an option and I um, so I didn't click the little down up the option arrow that completely my fault I just didn't even think to do it I just went to with what it defaulted to because I loved the image so much and yeah so but it is both of them are beautiful and um, it's it's gonna be great it's gonna be a great gift when I do finish it and I said when and not if. So then the next oldest canvas that I have that I'm working on is uh, Bluebirds in the Daisy Meadow. This is another Craftably. This is from their 4.0. They do still have this available. It's a 12 inch by 16 inch with 49 colors. This is something that I thought I was going to, I'm working straight and you guys know I hate working out of baggies. I'm working out of the baggies on this one. I thought I was going to kit this up and finish it because 12 by 16, I mean, it's like 30 by 40, right? I mean, it's not that much bigger than a 30 by 40. So I thought I was going to kit it up, go to town, finish it, or not kit it up. I thought I was going to work out of the baggies, go to town, finish it, end the story. Nope. No. No way. It is so confetti heavy and I worked on it, I think, for a day and I haven't worked on it since. Not for any you know, fault of the diamond painting. I just, um, other things happened, you know, but it is beautiful. Bluebird in the Daisy Meadow. And I will look forward to the day. And I had decided what I was going to do is instead of sectioning it off, I was going to go color by color. I was going to take one color, finish it on the entire canvas, take the next color, finish it on the entire canvas. That was a really stupid idea. I really regret doing that because I feel like I didn't do anything on it. Um, I'm going to section it when I work on it. Definitely. I, To me, in my analytical brain, sectioning just works best. I feel like I'm actually, you know, have made progress and I'm getting something done. So that's what I'm going to do when the day comes to work on that. So the next one that I started, I started when uh, Nate and I went down to stay at Maddie's house when they went to Florida back just a few weeks ago, a couple weeks, few weeks ago now. It is uh, Summer Blooms um, by Lisa Francis Judd from Diamond Art Club. And it's just a 42 by 42 centimeter. And it is a lot of color blocking because you have this entire black background. And I don't know why I didn't just finish it. It, it would take it wouldn't take anything to finish this. I mean, it, not really. I could have this finished in a couple days, two three days. So um, yep, yeah, but that's what I've gotten done so far. Is all of this and then most of this section here. I'm not sure why that doesn't have. Maybe the release paper fell off. I don't know. But that's what I've gotten done so far on this 25 colors. And this one is a square as well. And this is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite images. I just absolutely love it. So um, then the next one that I started after that was Plan of Salvation by JoJo's Art and Diamond Art Club. Now this doesn't count my finishes because interspersed throughout here, I have tons and tons of finishes. So I actually do finish a great deal of diamond paintings and you will have seen those on my weekly whip and chats. I always do a section at the beginning of my um, of my whip and chat where I show you what I've done and what I've finished from the previous week. So you will have seen everything that I have finished. These are just my works in progress, not just because there's freaking 30 of them, but these are just my works in progress. So this is Plan of Salvation. JoJo's Art, Diamond Art Club, 74 by 52 centimeters, uh, 34 colors, square, and I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. It is, um, I've got, I've got a fair amount done. Uh, you know, I've gotten all of this done. So a fair amount. This is going to be, this one was a personal request from Nate. Um, someone asked me if Nate was running out of wall space and Nate is a lucky boy in that he has two rooms actually. He has his bedroom where his bed is and his clothes and then he has his gaming room. So that means two rooms full of walls for mom to decorate with diamond paintings, right? Right, because I gotta have somewhere to put all these diamond paintings. All right, the next one that I have 
is, I'm trying to think which one I kitted up first. I want to say I kitted up, hmm, I'm having a hard time now thinking. I don't remember which of, so one of these, these are the last two that I kitted up in July um, before I started my No Start. So this one is Out West by Mad Art Studios from Diamond Art Club. It is another square diamond painting kit and it is 63 centimeters by 47 centimeters with 36 colors and I'm absolutely in love with the colors on this. Absolutely in love with the colors and I'm in love with the design. Um, it's just fantastical. I love it. So fun. So fun to do. And I, it's going to make either a great gift or it's going to make great wall art when it's finished because this is one that will definitely go on a wall somewhere. If not in my house, it's going to go in somebody's house. And last but definitely not least is my much, much loved and can't believe I'm going to give it away. Um, and I'm going to have to do this one again because I just love it this much. Um, Anticipation of the Day Ahead by Chuck Pinson from Diamond Art Club. 93 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So it is a huge diamond painting, but my God, is it gorgeous. It is just stunningly gorgeous. This is definitely, and I say this, it takes a lot for me to say this, but this is definitely my favorite uh, work by Chuck Pinson. Um, he has so much beautiful artwork and so many beautiful diamond paintings, but this one is definitely my favorite. Uh, so far and this is the one that my mom finally did choose um, for her house to go over her couch in her living room so I've gotten done and I think I showed this in my whip and chat this is how much I've gotten done so far on this uh, diamond painting I have not worked on this one in the past couple of days I was finishing up another, I, I did a quick 40 by 40 centimeter confetti filled diamond painting, but it turned out gorgeous. You guys will see that on my whip and chat next week. Um, but so that's it. That's all 30 of my current works in progress. So yes, I have 30 works in progress and hopefully we're going to take the month of August and we're going to get that number down. Um, if I get to a point in a day where I've finished one and I've got more time, I'll just move on to the next one and keep going from there. I hope you guys have enjoyed my little trip down memory lane and um, going through and looking at what I'm working on and where I'm at with them. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave them down in the comments. I'm not going to link these canvases. Um, first of all, there's 30 of them. Second of all, I don't know if they're still available. Some of them, I don't even remember where they were from. Um, but if, you know, if you have a specific question, go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'll try to help you out as well as I can. I think I kind of advise, you know, the ones from, you know, Craftably and Diamond Art Club. You guys know how that rolls. Um, you know how to get a hold of those. And that's probably the majority of them um, are, are the are ones that you could. Oh, I forgot one. I knew I was missing one. Fauna. You guys just saw me work on that. I don't have to go get it. Um, I, I left it. It's sitting because it's on my armchair. I, I was working on it out in the other room and I forgot to grab it. Darn it. I'm sorry. So Fauna from Die Moon Shop. That's uh, my 30th work. At, you're, if you were counting, you probably only counted 29 that I showed you. That's because my 30th one is sitting out uh, on my chair in the other room. Uh, that's the one with the woman with the black, big black hair with all the ABs and she's holding a fox, a red fox. It's very red and black and all the black ABs. And I was working on it, I believe, in my last whip and chat. So that is my other, and that'll be the last, I'll work on that on August 31st. I won't work on that again until August 31st because I've got all of these guys I'm going to work on until then. So... Thank you for sticking it out with me and taking a look at my parade of whips. And let me know, how many whips do you guys have going at once? Um, I know I can't be the only one that loves starting diamond, starting new diamond paintings. I figure if I bought them, it's up to me. It's my prerogative. If I feel like starting a new one, I start a new one. 
And uh, yeah, that's just the way it goes. I, you know, I bought them, I paid for them, I'll do with them what I wanna do. So I don't want any flack <laughs> about having so many works in progress. So if you choose to give me flack, I'll probably just ignore you anyway. So <laughs> go ahead. Um, but thank you for thank you for watching and hanging out with me while I went through all this. It's been fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys have a great night. Bye.